We cannot use chemicals for the plants which we ourselves eat. It is not essential also. Feed the plants with well decomposed compost, vermicompost, cow dung manure, etc. You may buy neem, castor, or pungimia cakes from agro shops. In addition, you may use vermicompost extract, panchagavya, cow urine and coconut water if the temple is in the vicinity. These can be drenched to the plant base or sprayed to the leaves. It gives excellent growth and minimizes flower and fruit drop. It brings down the incidence of pests and diseases. We find shops and individuals in big cities selling all these along with soil, manures and containers. Even then, terrace gardener must prepare compost on his own for the long run. Use enough quantity of organic manures in the initial potting mixture. Put two handfuls of rich compost to each plant at the time of flowering and fruit setting. Brinjal, chili, tomato and most of the vegetables flower and start setting fruit in 45 days. Good and healthy yield continues for two more months. Uproot all the plants after the yielding is over. Take out the soil and expose it to the sun for a week. Then remove stems and roots, mix the compost again and use it for potting. It is better to avoid soil from pots affected with wilt disease. We can grow short duration leafy vegetables two to three times in the soil potted ones. Put additional compost at each sowing. For perennial plants, scrape the soil in the pot to maximum possible depth. Put compost and fresh soil again. Doing this once or twice a year is sufficient. We may use special organic manures which are available in the market along with the regular compost. Application of growth promoters such as humic acid, micronutrient mixtures etc. are also useful. It is advised to use biofertilizers such as rhizopium for dicot plants like beans, green peas, azotobacter, azospirillum, PSB, mycorrhiza etc. for all other plants. These are available with agriculture labs, departments and few agro shops. Microorganisms in these biofertilizers supply nitrogen, phosphorus, potash and other nutrients to the plants. It is advised to prepare compost as much as possible by the terrace gardener. Buying every time is costly and not necessary. Use a bigger box for compost making. A drainage hole at the bottom is necessary to drain excess water. Put sawdust, waste paper or any material which can absorb water as the bottom layer. Spread kitchen waste, dry leaves and herbage from the terrace garden in a layer of 6 inches. Chopping the plant enables easy decomposition. Smear cow dung slurry if available. Otherwise, put a thin layer of fertile soil from the garden. We can use panchagavya, buttermilk, curd etc. also. Microorganisms in it will enhance decomposition of organic materials. Repeat the layers till the box is full. Non-vegetarians may put eggshells, bones, 
fish waste etc. to this compost after breaking it to small pieces. Put a layer of soil at the top of the compost box. Sprinkle water once in a while to keep it moist. If possible, turn the mass once or twice. Keep the compost box under shade. Decomposition completes in 45 to 60 days and produces rich compost. Systematic earthen pots are also available for composting kitchen waste from a small family. It is popular as daily dump compost kamba. Vermi compost is the best among all. Production of this is not so difficult. Release half a kilogram of earthworms in the compost box at 25 to 30 days stage of its filling. Put dry leaves, cow dung etc. again. Keep it moist by sprinkling water. Do not water in excess which suffocates the worms. Earthworms feed on partially decomposed organic matter and produce tea powder like compost in 45 to 50 days. Stop watering for 2 to 3 days. Earthworms will move to lower layers. Then collect the compost from the top. Put organic materials again and continue the process. Do not put acidic materials like rind of lime, sambar etc. to the vermi compost box. Tie the vermi compost in a cloth bag and dip it in water for a few hours. This deep colored liquid with lot of nutrients and hormones is the vermi compost extract. Drenching or spraying this to the plants will produce excellent growth. Avoid ants, rat and mouse attacking the vermi compost box. Cover the box with mesh to prevent birds catching these worms. <laughs>